been a while, about seven years, right? And uh, it's just been like us as kids stepping up and helping out around the house and just a lot more. Uh, and she tries to be independent, but you can't really let her because then she'll feel bad at night. And she's been helping a lot, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. First, I didn't really know what Parkinson's disease was, but now I feel as I've gotten like better as a person for helping her and helping the family and just getting through it, I guess. It's been real tough on the kids. You feel so bad um, that they're not able to do things um, with me like some families are. Um, it, the kids have really, really, um, uh, they never complain. They, they, they try as hard as they can to keep up. Um, they, they know what I'm going through and they you know, are, are there to, to support me. Is made us me feel um, that somebody out there is going to benefit from this, and and, and on and on. Um, my kids are an example. Um, the community and uh, they'll see the kids, you know, help, helping me. You know, in the in the front yard, I'll sit and watch them, and um, we're we're very tight. Um, we've kind of been in this together. I feel stressed sometimes, um, but typically we, we maintain the attitude that, you know, um, we thank God for everything we have, and every day is a new day, and the kids have adapted that um, personality as well. I have three children, and uh, they, ha they have learned. We get along that all the time, but I guess <laughs> that's in any family home where there's three children, um, that kind of thing. Um, the, the fatigue is probably the worst thing at, at, at all uh, that we deal with is um, I'm tired a lot and therefore I'm not able to, you know, make dinners all the time or, you know, just help out on the house. They know how to vacuum, they know how to cook, they know how to do dishes. <laughs> just have, I feel like just helping out and cooking and cleaning and doing whatever I can is really beneficial not only for me, but for her too. Just once I have to grow up sometime. <laughs> right. I think they set up uh, something with Coach Aldridge and asked if we could do a little fundraiser. And uh, I don't think they ever knew that it was gonna come up to like everybody showing out. I hope. hope. I had no <laughs> idea what they would do. It's amazing what people will do for another person. And um, it was much to my surprise that they started planning this. Um, and it, it just gave, gives everyone a, a wonderful feeling to help out, to help somebody. And you know, these, these kids that uh, Tommy's played lacrosse with for like eight years now, and they're like a family. And some, of the, some of the families on occasion would help out and take me to the doctors or you know, make a dinner. Or, you know, just to help out without, you know, being asked to do that. But um, the disease is progressive, so, you know, as time moves on, um, my abilities lessen. But I hope that we're able to stay tough and, you know, like I said, those things that were at one time important aren't important anymore, we say, you know. Don't set the small stuff, right? Yeah. You know? And so, um, they did it, and it's remarkable the things they've got, the time the people have put into this. Um, I'm just really grateful that we have these people, these people that are our friends and our extended family, because uh, the Parkinson's isn't going to win in this case. We're going to. Stick out there. Stick it to Parkinson's. That's right, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's his second love. You know, first time, I'm his first love. But his <laughs> second love is is lacrosse, and uh, we work as a family to see that he gets to lacrosse um, because he loves it so much. Um, but again, we've had a lot of help from a lot of friends. We um we had a major um, change in our lives in that we had to move because our house was too full of stairs, too many stairs. So we had to move into a ranch 
um, and that was a very difficult move for for the kids. Um, now everything's smoothed out, and we're right on track now. But um, I am um, just have been blessed also in that we have met a lot of people, a lot of people with Parkinson's, and it's just comforting to know that you know there's somebody out there that understands and hopefully I can give back. It's awesome. It's uh, lacrosse is the fastest growing sport in America right now so to have something like Parkinson's be aware or be uh, announced at a lacrosse game is amazing because uh, everybody wants to see lacrosse and everybody wants to help something out so why not <laughs> hopefully get a cure for Parkinson's.